there's a very famous social entrepreneur in the world. In most business circles, he's very well known. His name is Seth Godin. He said, what matters is how we choose to direct our energy because tomorrow is the direct result of the way we spend our resources today. Pick your problem, pick your future. Okay. What does that bring up to you? So I'm going to move. Uh, I often, because it's an arena within which I've had some uh, time and experience, look to sports to make sense of things. So what I hear you talking about is intentionality and focus and how what we intend to do and what we focus on is where we end up. So two different sports things I can think of is in golf. When you are at the tee, right? So when you are beginning to hit the ball for the hole you're moving toward, part of what golf does is presents obstacles to make the game harder. There's the fairway, which is the smoothest grass and the place that your ball will move the best, and it gives you the best chance to achieve your goal. But along that way, to the side are trees. There is the rough, which is tall grass usually, where the ball does not move very well at all and from which it's hard to hit the ball. And there are sand traps. They're called traps, and you don't want to go to them. If you are a golfer who moves efficiently with the least amount of strokes to the hole, you do not focus on the trees, the rough, or the sand trap. You focus on the flag and the fairway and the green because that's where you want to go. And the quickest route to ending up in one of those obstacles is to focus on those obstacles. So your intentionality and focus, you go to the place where you're focused and you want to get to the hole in the most efficient way down the fairway to the green. So that's a sense in the, in the same way, what Seth Godin was saying was the same thing. Tomorrow will be the thing you think about today. You will be probably living in that thing tomorrow. Another one, I love skiing. And in skiing, you have the trail, which we use often in skiing. We use French terminology, piste, P-I-S-T-E. And there's on piste, e in piste, and off piste. Off piste is anything that's not a trail. So on a mountain, engineers and, and architects have created trails to make us move easily down the mountain. But there's all sorts of other terrain that the the when you when you move to higher levels of skiing, you go off into that terrain for greater challenge. One of those places is the woods, a place where there's no trail and you have to make your trail. And once again, a a competent wood skier is focusing on the openings because that's where you want to go. If you focus on the tree, it is very likely you will end up wrapped around a tree. To be a successful tree skier, you see the path that is the path, the chosen and desired path, and you focus on the chosen and desired path through the woods. And you effortlessly, when you have enough skill, can move that way because you go where your focus is. So those are two examples, I think, of the same concept that Seth Godin said, is that we need to focus on the thing we want if we actually want that thing to happen. And conversely, vicious cycle, if we focus on the thing we don't want, we end up going to the place that we don't want. And then we're wondering why we we landed there often. We're like, how did I end up here? 